All right, so it's 1982, I'm about seven years old, and back then um, I was way more into the World Book Encyclopedia and my comic books and my imaginary friends than I was actual real kids. And so the notion of going to summer camp uh, was both exciting and also a little bit scary. And when I got to the summer camp, um, I realized that the other kids had been there for a while. They'd, been, they'd already gone there for a few years and had already formed groups. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta make some friends. And so I, I finally found a group of guys I thought were kind of cool. And I was about to make my move to try to infiltrate their, their clique. And that's when the shit went down. So it's, uh, it's right after swimming. And we're in the locker room changing into our dry clothes. And it was a normal day, nothing major except for Peter, who was at the, um, the bench next to me. Now, Peter, um, at this point, was crying uncontrollably. He's uh, kind of a, a, a small, uh, chubby kid, and he was just, just crying his eyes out. I disregarded it, kept getting dressed, and um, after a little bit, the camp counselor came in. He said, hey, guys, Peter has lost his underwear. Uh, take a look around and see if you can find it. Look over Peter, and he is butt naked, except for a beach towel and his warm, salty tears. That's it. Aww. I'm like, Peter needs to get it together, right? <laughs> so, okay, so I, I look in my locker, I don't see anything, and then I look at my bag, and I don't see um, Peter's underwear, but I do see the underwear that I wore to camp that day. And that's curious, because I am now fully dressed. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, I, I check to make sure the coast is clear, and I pull the, my shorts, and I look, I look down, and I, I, see, uh, I see a pair of underwear, and I recognize them. Now, they are underoos. Now, to the uninitiated, underoos are like, um, like Victoria's Secret lingerie for kindergartners, right? <laughs> so I look, and they're not just underoos. I, I, I recognize them. They have, there's a blue trunk and a yellow waistband, and I'm like, these are, these are Batman underoos. The only issue is that I don't own any Batman underoos. See, see, back then, you know, everyone, you, were, you, you had to choose a side. Either you were Batman or Superman, and I was Superman <laughs> down to the socks. When that first movie came out, I wanted to be Superman. It changed my entire life. I would go out into my neighborhood flying around, uh, patrolling in nothing but my underwear. I would go to, to, uh, to grocery stores and flash people with the S under my, my button up just to make sure they knew they were safe. So the notion of me ever being caught dead in a pair of Batman underwear is ridiculous. <laughs> And yet, that's where I was, uh, panicking, stressing, and about to shit what were apparently Peter's panties, a pair <laughs> of Batman underwears. How did this happen? I don't know. So the, my first notion is I should just, just, just say, I just confess and say, I have on Peter's underwear. And then I'd have to take down my, my shorts, take off his underwear, hand them to him, put on my underwear, pull up my shorts, while the entire world was watching me, right? And if I did that, I could do all of that, and still they might not believe that it was an accident, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm thinking, well, I could do that, and then, you know, if, if I could not say anything at all, right, and just kind of sneak away, but what if I do get caught? Either way, I'm pretty sure I'm getting thrown out of this camp, and my mommy's gonna kill me. She always says, Scotty, do not embarrass me, and I'm pretty sure this is exactly what she meant. So. I'm thinking, then I'm like, oh my God, it's around lunchtime. Peter had been wearing these underwear for at least three or four hours yeah. <laughs> prior to this. And his bathing suit parts were where mine are. It's just it's nasty, nasty. And then I think, you know what? What would Superman do, right? Mm -hmm. Superman would tell the truth. He always tells the truth. He, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I really, I really, I really, really did, but man, I. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't confess, I couldn't say it because I didn't want to be known as the dirty underwear boy for the rest of my life. <laughs> so I didn't say anything. And I snuck out of that locker room and I prayed they wouldn't do a strip search. Meanwhile, uh, Peter, poor, poor Peter, he had to go off fresco the rest of the day. <laughs> he had to free ball through horseback riding, <laughs> commando at, at archery. And you know, I have felt bad about it ever since but I am glad I got to get it off my chest tonight. <laughs> I don't, Peter, I don't see you out there, but um, you know, wherever you are, man, I really hope you're able to turn it around. Yeah.